Hello everybody, welcome to an unbelievable first round match here in the final big cup of CCL. We've got Chunter on rats and Crucifer on chaffs, two coaches that are synonymous with the races that they're uh, used to, so there you go. Um, and in the booth I've got Daedalquist, hello. Hello. Yeah, I mean, it really is the Russian Tsar of CCL versus the uh, Dutch Rat uh, that everyone loves to hate. Uh, uh, and uh, I mean, these two teams, like they they bring here, it's uh, they it's it's the it's some of the best teams that we we can see in this uh, in this year's CCL. Uh, so it really could be the final, and it's straight out of the gate. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. hyped. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Like, it's a typical cruise team, right? Two thousand two hundred TV, a shoe hands edge up, a shoe hands back up against Wizards. Um, two really yeah. good bulls. Um, amazing chalk blockers, like all in injured. Like, how does he do it? Do you know what I mean? It's just unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, two I mean, full the, 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 the chalk blockers are really the uh, the uh, how you can see how well built it is right because they're all fucking amazing like the worst one is <laughs> is stand firm guard uh, mighty blow that's his worst player on the on the field basically yeah it's great that uh, this quick snap means we can't actually see all of the skills because the yeah, game is rubbish I... but there you go at least it's not as bad as blood bowl three <laughs> but yeah strength four one two full claw bombers is amazing one with jump up which is incredible um and then an extra claw obviously the extra claw isn't that good actually against chunter and I, well, none of the claws are really very good against Chunter, so a bit of a waste, like 90 t waste of TV, basically, which has given yeah. him a Fez glitch and a wizard. It's so obviously the wizard much more much more impactful, but Fez glitch isn't terrible, right? Fez glitch isn't terrible, but uh, well, no, he's called Fez in this. Yeah. He's not he's not terrible, but he's not great. Could could, uh, could knock some uh, chorps over. I mean, that's what what he's here for, right? To uh, to keep some semblance of balance in the in the bashing early on. Um, and uh, allow, allow Chunter to maybe like uh, uh, punch some of the some of the chorps around because uh, he does have a couple of mighty blows. I uh, hope that they will do something, but it's unlikely, right? Mighty blow against the mine. You, you still have to high roll. Yeah, he hasn't got any claw. That, that's the weakness. The like the weakness of Chunter's team. Chunter's team's still good, right? Yeah. Nineteen hundred TV. Um, yeah. It's got Yaj Five Natty there, which is obviously unbelievable that he's fielding on offense, uh, which is kind of fair enough, right? You know, although his his hopes absolutely completely hinge on this character, he may well need him on offense because Cruz is brilliant and Cruz's team is brilliant. So you know, he might he just exactly. he, he might just need him. Um, and the, and the, the, the other <laughs> thing that we sorry, yeah, he's got a sticky runner here with. Um, Shadowing, which you know, Chunter loves his shadowing, doesn't he? Yeah, blood step and tackle and shadowing are pretty decent. And there are two of them, has he got two that are the same? Yeah, he's got two, two exactly the same. They're both yeah. niggled as well. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and then he's got this Ash uh, 5 wrestle strip leap, so you know, typical Saka there. Well, quite a good Saka, actually, not typical. Ash yeah, 5 leap and, but the wrestle strip is typical. Oh, look, is this meant to be pulling him back for a big gang foul? Interesting. Uh, presumably. Um, I mean, uh, as I was going to say, like, one of the uh, things that the reason that he has sort of has to field um, is. Uh, oh, we do get an arm from a break and a cast instantly. Oh Mighty Bomb nice. does pop. Oh, it is. Uh, yeah, there it is. Instant. Solid apple. choice from Cruz. He knows that it's a high roll. He knows that uh, he needs the chorps to, uh, to win. Um, if he's got it. I mean it's it's the winning play right it you, you it is just... but it's it's not what you want in the first round is it like that's the thing like this is a, no. such a bad draw for Cruz <laughs> like it's it's obviously a bad yeah. draw for Chunter as well but I don't think <laughs> Chunter had had quite the same chance of winning as Cruz would have had with an easier draw right like, that's the thing no no that's the sure. thing Cruz is like and uh, if if you've been here, uh, we we went through the entire draw like <laughs> Cruz will face a natty or he's likely to face a natty in three of his first four rounds <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah very likely in this first which is right? like the main way that uh chorps lose unless like they draw bigger chaos uh yeah. um those are two two threats right but yeah i was gonna say like what <laughs> right as he got cast uh since chunter doesn't have <laughs> that great of a um fight back uh, without the claw without piling on uh without the dp 
Um, he may well need to resort to for, sort of a um, um, a Daka, and then you really want your four gutters on the field, right? Um, like you can't Daka as rats with all the edge three on the field. No, I mean, um, Chunga hates Daka, he he's not going to Daka, but yeah. he's, he's going to do a half Daka here, isn't he? Exactly. Like he's gonna have the uh, the rats, but like the ball carrying ball carrying rats to pull back. Ooh, that is rough. Uh, and I mean, yeah. Pick if you pick best, you're not docking, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, best is kind of anti docker <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I really hate it anyway. It was it was never gonna dock him, yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Great record versus Chris, and I mean that's probably a lot due to the races, right? Uh, Skaven one turning mm. is a really good way to beat um, Chorfs as, mu as much as like, and but Chorfs are a really good way to just beat up Skaven as well, right? And like tackle to deal with their gutters. Yeah. So like it's a pretty it, even. It is a really rough matchup for uh, for for Skaven as well, right? Because Skaven does Skaven is a dumb team. We all know this. <laughs> Skaven doesn't really lose any game. Uh, but one of the one of the bad matchups for them is is Chorfs because the Bulls can hunt down their uh, their gutter runners. Um, so you can't really get away from them and then like yeah it, your your regular rats are just gonna get killed mercilessly by the blockers so um yeah it's a, it's a shit matchup for both uh and i think that summarizes the entire evening <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's gonna I and mean, it's really you know it's funny they've both it's had a bit of bad luck us. haven't they they've both had a bit of bad luck we've got the send off but then we've also got the instant cat and apple yep. usage so very yep. very finely balanced can you please show all skills? No, Silver. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 <laughs> no. Because then you wouldn't see anything else. <laughs> yeah. uh, you, you can go into your own client and uh, go into Cavalvish, and this is live. Uh, so if you want to show all skills, you do that. <laughs> Put us on this radio. Uh, but we're not. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll show you how bad it would look. <laughs> How's that sound? Oh, we're gonna pile on here. Yep. See, so Chris knows how to play uh, football. And Kaz. There we are. Instantly. Imagine if you take a juggernaut. <laughs> and that's a bad layer. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and uh, there's the cover apple. Instantly. Yeah. yeah. This. This is uh, sort of why you want next trap was wrestling in this matchup. <laughs> so you can't you can't see the pitch if you have all the skills on. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely horrendous. Like the the chores have so many like base skills, and then Fess is a nightmare as well. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Yep. Well, so. Nothing too exciting at the moment. Like, well, I mean, too exciting. Both apples gone and a send off. But you know what I mean. Like, it's it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's about as exciting as, as it could possibly start. But yes, yes, uh, it's it's still fairly like uh, basic in terms of like yeah, the cruise the chorps comes into base up uh, and Chunter uh, does what he can to like um, keep the ball safe. And in this in this case, it's been. Um, Kind of a separation of his team. Um, his edge three is up front. His edge four is in the back. Um, and uh, yeah, with the with the self removal, Chandra's down to nine on the pitch. Yeah, not great. What I mean is, there's no there's no like positional like threat or anything, right? The no. uh, Chris's team is just in the middle, stood in front. Chandra's team is just at the back. Not in danger, right? That, that's what I mean by it. There's nothing. Exactly. Exactly. Like the the uh, the game plan for for Cruz is to uh, kill all the uh, all the immobile uh, pieces, and by immobile I mean the Ash threes. Um, whereas for Chunter, the game plan is uh, try to. I don't. I don't actually know. Like trying to not get killed is usually the uh, the strategy, but Chunter does have. This weird propensity to uh, to try and counter kill, uh, <laughs> try and high roll it a little bit. Um, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how just how he'll try to high roll on offense, um, especially now that he's down down to nine. Um, makes it a lot more difficult. Yeah, he should he should have definitely dacked, but Chunter hates dackering, so he was never going to. Yeah. <laughs> 
you know, which, you know, you shouldn't hate things, should you? Not only in general, <laughs> but especially like in a strategy game, like having the idea that I don't like something is just wrong, right? You should you should use anything yeah. that, that is correct. <laughs> uh, I think uh, Tunter uh, must have thought that he could chain that back. Like, that must have been a weird lapse in... Uh, in memory on how chains work, right? Um, you, you would have thought... You, you no, don't no, no, it's not a lapse of memory. It, but it's weird that he did just didn't do the Fez glitch hit first, right? Uh, you would have thought he'd have started yeah, with a Fez glitch, because yeah. then, then he's got the 3 plus out. Um, so you'd have thought he'd have just started with the Fez glitch, and then, and then done that blitz. I thought that blitz was kind of fine, right? You, you, you yeah, used the guard fine, to get but, the 2 um, feet, but really uh, weird that he didn't do the Fez glitch because bit first. I mean, I, I, it's find it hard to believe that he forgot how chain pushing worked, but maybe he did. <laughs> I mean, it looks, it looks no, a little three bit dice weird, now, right? Because now... He gets a 3D from first glitch. If he hits him. Yeah. Oh, no, he's wandering with him. Okay. Okay, well, maybe he's done... Not entirely purpose. unfair. Not entirely unfair, because that means that... Uh... He's uh, now gone away from the claw bomber with his uh, remaining. Oh, well, it's a stop on, but that will be very happy to see an armor break. Um... <laughs> Look at this—he's just gonna get his good instantly bombed. <laughs> Who can yeah. say if it's good or bad? Well, maybe not, right? He might, he might. Oh, wow. Look at Dog Cruz. <laughs> Look at Dog Chin. Um, it depends, right? He might not risk the three plus to, to hit this, but he might. Uh, he, he, do other things. He, he rolls the pushes there as well. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. Thing is, yeah, that one's getting uh, punched, and also Fez is getting punched by that ball right now. Um, so, yeah, that protects, that protects. Yeah, all right, there you go. Yeah, 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 that's fair, that's fair. Exposes the ball a little bit. <laughs> but uh, I don't think Chris is going to care about that. No, yeah, interesting Chris, to see if he goes uh, for the Interesting to see if he goes for the jump up here. That's the, uh, that's the thing. Mm. It is a little bit greedy, right? Uh, but... Uh, it would be very, very, very fair to go for it. Uh, well, it, it depends. He, it, it he depends does on. Kind of want to blitz with the uh, with the. <laughs> Please let me speak. Well, right? it, it depends Sorry. what <laughs> it depends what else he's thinking of, right? So he's going to analyze and like think how impactful what and what a positional or different uh, what's it called like attrition blitz could be, and then if that's worth only getting to attrition blitz the gutter runner sixty six percent of the time. And it, now it looks like he's going to go for the jump up that guard in there. Oh, maybe not. Interesting. Actually, super interesting this time. <laughs> mm. Don't oh, top scores. <laughs> Gets him on the reroll. Does does he get the armor break? No. Because he, he could he could he could two D the roger with mighty blow right, and then he could three D this gutter. So that's a consideration. Yeah. Nope. Doesn't do that. Hello, cock. He might still be thinking whether he's going to blitz or not. <laughs> hey, cock. Oh, maybe he's going to hit the. Uh, maybe he's going to hit the roger. Oh, maybe he's top on the roger. Yeah. Oh, that's two D on the roger. Certainly looks like it right now, right? Because uh, it, it also locks the gutter runner in. Um, so he's probably not unhappy with that, having having a tackle locked. Uh, of course, Chunter can blitz it out, but uh, does like it does very neatly wrap in all of Chunter's pieces here. Uh, so kind it does. of uh, he does go for the greed. See, yep, is it yep. worth? Is it worth that claw bomb hit? Is that worth maybe not not? getting his other guy up and maybe not getting this hit it's interesting isn't it super interesting he gets yeah, it up anyway. I, th I think i think it is uh i i like this line of play um it's so early in the match you you really just want to kill all the rats as soon as possible um and it's a three plus uh so it's not 
it's not super bad, right? Um, oh, Shadow, oh, he doesn't, he he doesn't trap him in. <laughs> <laughs> he actually frees the gun. Free. <laughs> well, to be fair, Chunter can still dodge off here to uh, trap him, which he does. But pretty oh, funny. Oh, Wouldn't this have been better? I think this would have been better. Put, putting the. This, I would say this is a. I'd go so far as to say this is a mistake from Cruz. I would have thought over one one to the left was better. Seems like a last second. Oh, I'll just yeah. do that in the turn. Whereas I think one one out is better. Yeah, I think uh, he didn't. Uh, might not have thought about the uh, stupid shadowing. Uh, no, but after, after the shadowing, right? Like just the. Uh, just the, it's like the where he moved the ball. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, because he might not have thought through exactly what happens when Ch uh, when Chunter shadows. No, well, sure. There's the removal. But he so, still so just moved the ball oh, without thinking. It. Yeah, so then he misplaced it. Exactly, yeah. But he should have he he still did, thought. Exactly. He could. He still had the time to think, didn't he? He just didn't. Did he, he just moved did he? it. Yeah, Wasn't yeah. his time out? No, I don't think so. Oh, three thought, minutes. Oh, a, yeah, maybe. Yeah, he yeah, took a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. thought it took a fair while of time to think about his turn, right? Uh, three, two. I mean, it's a three, two out. That's pretty easy. Isn't it? <laughs> I'm so, sorry that I'm so energized today that I'm actually cutting you off. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, much better yesterday when I, I was super out. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> This is uh this is pretty good from from Fez glitch, isn't he? He's got some good yeah, some good yeah. value from Fez here. He has not been entirely trash, which uh, you'd be super thrilled to see if you're a chunter or written for the rats. Hmm. You might get taken out now though, because that's yeah, easy. he's probably going to be. That's easy six on him, and then uh, he's got these round for more. Oh. Oh, oh so he, he goes for. Yeah, that's the GFI. That was good. I like that move. And he hit him as well. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, did he hit him? He also knocked him down. Flip me. <laughs> but it's worth it, right? If you're going to get knocked out, like, then it. It, you might as well just take the chance to uh, to not get. Like, to, to it was the right play, the GFI. Yeah, it was the right play, yeah, GFI. Yeah, you're yeah. gonna get instantly two D. But uh, he didn't have to hit him and then pow him. No, 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 no. <laughs> that was pure chunter. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he dodges some tackle as well <laughs> with the little one. Yeah. Disgusting. Yep, three two, pretty good. Yeah, you have to get away. Yeah. Uh, So now that that See got how has advanced. Uh, so yeah. now it's a river gotta, star cap, basically. This gotta has to go two more, right? Because uh, otherwise the combo is just gonna jump up and get him. Whereas now mm. he might not. Mm. Yeah, so but he had he had to go there, chance. Who the fuck roots for rats? Well, well said, Hancock. <laughs> Imagine being so obsessed by rats that you'd root for them. <laughs> I mean, I, to, to be fair, they're against chaffs, and that's that's also how could anyone root for chaffs? To be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a little bit like the uh, the playgroup cholera, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Right, I can put the sounds back on now. Better final for Zons. I mean, that that's a that's a nice idea, Nolly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think he's just a Dutch supremacist. Maybe, yeah. That was yeah. a joke. That was that was definitely a joke. Oh, oh double push. one, diced. <laughs> that's George's second snake mm. of the game so far. Jimmy, fantastic uh, shit at this game. Thanks, Sada. That was, that so, was yeah. worth me putting sound effects back on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cruz has been a little bit unlucky so far, definitely. Um, yeah. But he might still get an early score here. He might still force an early score out of Chantry. You know, he's got, still got he's still got player advantage, right? Oh uh, no, are they equal? Equal? They're equal in players. Uh, yes, because he cast the uh, hobo uh, last turn. Mm. 
but I mean, he does have claw pommers and stuff, so you'd imagine which opened he's up gonna... this entire flank. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He might, he might get himself a two turn. I don't think he'll get himself a three turn. He might do, but I think it's more likely to maybe get the chance of a two turn, which you know things could happen. But then, or maybe in fact, Chunter might deliberately score to give Cruz the three turn, because then that gives Chunter two turns to score back, right? To wizard him and yeah, turn him off yeah. and score. So actually, given giving Cruz a three turn might even be what what Chunter is after. Yeah, I I generally like that line of uh, that line of play. Uh, Better than Imagine being so fucking like obsessed with rats that um, you're about to go on a holiday and you. That and being said, like, like chores are great at two turning, but. You just decide to play more fucking rats. Turning, what the so. fuck? Why the fuck would anyone play that much fucking rats? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Elliot, Elliot talking over you that time. <laughs> Exclamation point rats. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is fair. If there's a sound effect I'm willing to override <laughs> me, then that is it. <laughs> um, in Blood Bowl 2, yes, the, it is Mighty Blow on the things that are already prone. Um, it has been changed in the latest rules, but this is the old rules where it was a bit better. And uh, Allo Dimmy, I don't know, maybe it didn't actually. Oh, I, I can't remember. All right, don't, don't take I, yeah, don't I take do, I do, I do think it. Yeah, I, I do think it procs Mighty Blow on, uh, on things on the floor. I uh, think it but does, but does, I don't know. This doesn't have Mighty Blows, it doesn't matter for this game. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, that's a better two turns of chores than the other buddies, yeah. Hello, C Bros. Yeah, this is this is a hell of a game, and yeah, well done. Great effort, C Bros. I mean, obviously, your team was absolute trash, but the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you were against rats. Yeah. Uh, and your, your ogres chose to bonehead at the exact wrong time after they put themselves in the opportunity to not suck for a moment. Uh. <laughs> oh, wow, BB Jock. I mean, you can infer that it doesn't, but it's still. They said no to oh, block, so they answered the other half, right? By saying it's not a block. But it's stupid because Animal Savagery isn't a block, and that gets mighty blow, so it's so stupid. Um. We wrote that. Uh. You chose an interesting line of play, turn one, Russell. <laughs> <laughs> that's, well, that's put it that way. <laughs> it wasn't your finest hour, but then, you know, it's fair enough, right? Uh, ogres versus yeah. ogres. I tend to play my worst versus ogres. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, like, you, it's so easy, right? It's such a guaranteed win that, like, I just tend to dick about and then, <laughs> and then get into trouble. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly, Zebros. You got four rerolls for five turns, so using that one to uh, get the chance to maybe high roll, uh, uh, knock, uh, knock down, uh, knock out another chorf. Uh, you, 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 you can see why he wanted to do that. Uh, but the the roger was still on the floor. He hadn't used that um, to blitz with yet. So kind of would have preferred having the uh, the reroll for that, um, and also. The potential stall here and turnover, right? Yeah, not 3D now. I would have, I would have definitely rather than tagging this gutter runner with like kind of pointlessly, right? It's just two pluses away with a reroll. Yeah, yeah. I would yeah, have yeah. rather made that 3D and just almost I agree. Get that guy down. But it doesn't need to. He gets the removal. Uh, yeah, so uh, Chris was right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he knew he was gonna pass. Do these guys double GFI? Maybe. Your block first. I think they do, right? Um, this is tough because if you block him, you could block this one. I guess you can block this one, but you'd rather block this one. But if you block this one, then um, then on a push you don't get in the way, and then you can GFI these afterwards. Or you just don't GFI at all, right? Just moving forward down. But he does double GFI. I I, I, I do like the GFI here, and then I like uh, taking the. Oof. All right. Oh, yeah, it was only one of whichever way he went. But this way, on a push, he got the 2D. Claw Mighty. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe just go... So, actually, a mistake, then, uh, maybe to to break tackle the Bull Centaur away uh, first, because otherwise that would have been a 2D. Yes, yeah, um, slight, slight ordering issues. But then I guess moving the... He had this moved up before he did the GFIs with him. But then he did the GFIs with him before he did this block, so he couldn't really order it exactly how he wanted, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Because this, because 
Purdy is obviously putting pressure, right? Um, to get Chantra to score. Um, uh, yeah, he's got a really nice positioning here. He's got the pressure on the the semi cage uh, uh, screen ish, uh, and then he's got the centralized chorf and the centralized ball sensor, so that Chantra can't uh, just run over to the other side of the pitch and be be free, right? Yes. Um, what you'd say with a lot of people is. What you'd see with a lot of people is they'd like they'd overcommit, right? They'd oh, they'd go in here and then yeah, yeah. just go over the other side. But Chris is wise to that and has these centre because they're still they can still reach in there next turn if they have to, and, and they can cover versus really nice, really 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 nice. Um, so yeah, the the other option that Chunter would have maybe had is to pull back again um, and let. Uh, Chunter get or let Christopher get in front. Um, but even that is like really, really dicey here. Um, so yeah, I think what we're seeing here is yeah, we're just seeing Chunter going for Fess uh foul uh on that hole. <laughs> um and then and uh, likely to, to punch it in. Um because everything else is super dicey. Yeah. Yeah. And and you know he's got the wizard, right? So so giving giving yeah. Cruz a uh, so actually I I thought Cruz might wouldn't get a four turn drive, but he did get the four turn drive, and that is a lot mm. more comfortable than three turn drive. Definitely, um, definitely. Uh, so Cruz is happy with the, with this, I think. Um, well, not happy, but not unhappy. Um, with the way the first uh, drive went. Um, it's fine. I mean, it's fine, right? Both people are happy with this, really. You know, Chunter yeah. scores in four. Chunter's got the chance of the turnover over the Wiz, but Cruz has got the chance of the two on grind, so it's. Uh, both parties are pretty happy, I guess, except they both use their, their apples. <laughs> Makes them a bit unhappy. Exactly. <laughs> since, since both of them uh, are are super fucking competitive, they, they're also probably both very unhappy. <laughs> they're not dicing the absolute shit out of the opponent. Hello, Tim. Yeah, so bye bye Pez, and uh, he's got just enough bench to uh, not, not have to field the natty um, uh, for this defensive drive. So, so yeah, uh, from that point of view as well, Chunter is probably happy. Um, uh, can keep him safe for for this short drive uh, and have him um, guaranteed for the second half. Yeah, great call, Shawnee. <laughs> great call. Both are unhappy because they're playing good ball. Um, yeah. Well, there you go. Nolly there confirming that Chunt has done the correct thing because Nolly <laughs> would have failed the natty and gone. <laughs> gone out in the first oh, round. Oh, yeah! Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, Nolly, we almost saw someone yet last night throw uh, or attempt to throw uh, a game by passing against pass block, but the pass block and the pass block it just have failed. <laughs> oh, I thought of you uh, when that happened. I mean, it's essentially edge five, Razzle, for the for the one turn, isn't it? It's essentially edge five. But yeah, it's not. It's not add five plus two heads like some disgusting person has. <laughs> no names mentioned. <laughs> not even add six. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this is gonna. This is gonna be super interesting, isn't it? He might even have to carry in the edge four. Because like yeah, this is the harder no. drive than the second half, right? The second half drive is a lot Definitely. easier. He's got the full eight turns, yeah. um, and he's probably got less rust to deal with. Uh, yeah. So this. No, is I, I can I can like uh, going for the edge four carry here. Yeah. Uh, I guess it just depends where it goes, right? Like if if the ball goes yeah. here, you just pick it up. That's so just picks it up with the knees. But yeah, this, I mean, this is basically the whole match, almost. Like, obviously, Chunter's going to have a chance in the second half, but, like, this is the big one, right? If he goes 2-0 up here, it's almost... Glorious. Yeah. No, I won't give in until I'm yeah, victorious. This is probably, yeah, exactly. This is probably the high, most high-stakes uh, drive of the game. Uh, glorious. Thank you very much. Baron Bucky, welcome to Team Fantastic. Oh, yeah.
because it's it's Cruz's big chance for the for the two two draw, and uh, it's Chunter's big big chance for for getting the win, um, or even a two one win, right? If uh, if Cruz can uh, if if Chunter feel, has to field the Natty on defense yeah, in the second yeah, half, yeah. maybe maybe Cruz can hit him. For four, four turns, uh, getting to first this LOS, and then like yeah, we could see serious rat attrition here and there in this drive as well, and even that uh, would Chris probably be happy with, uh, even we, if it doesn't. Yeah, seeing everything we know about Chunter, we could see heavy, heavy, heavy attrition <laughs> because he is almost <laughs> certainly going to go all mans instantly, and maybe fireball, fireball, and all mans is a very, very. Uh, <laughs> very likely course of action <laughs> i think we want some pylons here honestly because they're just they're just crap rats right they're just the crap yeah LOS rats i think we don't see we don't pile on i i would have personally blitzed with the, the claw on there just for the claw and the uh, storm vermin i guess you do get the strength four up which is good uh, yeah actually yeah maybe that's better to get the strength four up and he's got the stand firm up which is good right stand firm four, four yeah eight. i really really like the uh the forward uh positioning of uh first here yeah well yeah. Oh, good oh, bot liner oh. shittos yep so that uh, is the, the natty is gonna have to play on defense 100 yeah. percent imagine you being so fucking obsessed with rats that you're about to go on holiday and you and like you can't even fucking qualify with the team, and you just decide to play no, more fucking jungle. rats. Still why, the, yeah. why the fuck would anyone play that much fucking rats? Jesus I mean, Christ! Now you're <laughs> you've got the natural armor break. You're you're on a roll. You can feel it like obliterating the entire LOS. How how satisfying that is. Uh, <laughs> I still think not following was better, honestly. But I can understand yes. doing it. Yes. Uh, you, you uh, sometimes you get feeling right, <laughs> and I think that Cruz got a bit feeling there. Uh, maybe, but, maybe that, maybe that was the reason, C Bros. Maybe if he thought, maybe he thinks if he piles on, maybe he'll draw a foul, which is uh, which would be glorious, wouldn't it? Like if if Cruz took a, if Chunter took a turn off just to try and foul that. Yeah, I, do, I don't think Chunter can afford to. No, he can't. Uh, he, he can't. He wants to stop the score. Um, <laughs> And also, he can't afford her because he doesn't have the rats for it. Uh... Yeah, the do I pile on Belka is amazing, but uh, that that I mean, there are times when you shouldn't pile on. As, as funny as that meme is, there are times when you shouldn't pile on. That could have been one, honestly, because stunned is like good enough yes, for this Steve. drive. You know? Dauntless knockdown. Uh... Mm. So that's. That's good. That's actually kind of big. I'm uh, knocking down that. That's bad for Um yeah. Oh, who the double uh, goes? Gets the foul on the second one attempt. Um, Why did Trump does not? So he can. So he can. So he can. So he can. Have you seen Chunter play ever? <laughs> well, wow, he is going to roll some blitz. He wants the uh, the short kick, right? Yeah, yeah I would have rather be kicked it for a short drive. Yes, one hundred percent. But he is going to get the foul here. He's going to foul the stand firm. Well, no, he's only got a gutter and a left to foul. No, he's not going no, to. He's no. He's not oh. going to. It looked like he was setting up a big foul, right? Blitz go back and then have a six assist foul. But then the only player left is an H five gutter, so I mean, it's not run bad. <laughs> that would be a bit insane, yeah. Run bad would foul. <laughs> yeah. I would have considered the early ways. Like, yeah, I would have done. I'm surprised. I'm surprised Chunter didn't think about it longer, right? He's this is very conservative for Chunter. Uh, it's it super conservative for Chunter. I think it's conservative for anyone. He's got an edge five, ready to leap in and get the ball. Like it's pretty wild. The the thing that uh, sort of like um, uh, argues for this line of play is the fact that it's a four turn drive, right? So there's three more turns. There's two more turns for Chunter. Um, there's a lot of time uh, 
uh, to to find himself in in a better situation to fireball. Uh, not to fireball, but to wizard. This cruise did put up a, a really good wall uh, of, uh, of players between Chunter's team and the ball, um, the wizard, uh, the firewall. Yeah. So, uh, getting around that with... How it goes up now, isn't it? Imagine being so fucking obsessed mm, with rats about that you're about to go on a holiday yeah. and you and like you can't even fucking qualify with the team. Uh, you just decide to play more fucking good, rats. Right? So he could use fuck? him, or he could Why just go. Why would anyone here? play that much fucking rats? Or he Jesus could Christ! Stay back a Not even getting an armor break. Yeah, it's a bit sad. But, but obviously, no real cost to the pile on it. Well, I, I know he is a strength three guard character, but you know, having the jump up means that you know auto yeah. pile on is completely fair. It's a good runner. I think this one is. Yeah. It's a lot easier to justify oh. than the, the other one. Yeah. Yeah, the rogue is uh, uh, find out more about these boobies. Um, animation is mesmerizing indeed, yeah. <laughs> oh, does every single rat have that in BB3? Uh... Yeah. Maybe they heard that people uh, like that in, in Blood Bowl 2. <laughs> so they were like, right, <laughs> right, they liked well, something. Well, well, watching 11 of them at the same time, <laughs> all the time, is. is... <laughs> <laughs> Not as enchanting. <laughs> no. So now Chunter thinks about the wizard, right? He's got to think about it for a little bit. Like he has to, he, you know. Yeah, yeah. Even if he thinks it's it's stupid instantly, he still needs to think about it for like thirty seconds to like be think. Well, is it actually stupid? Um, I. It's interesting. I don't think it's actually stupid. I mean, it's stupid, but like for Chunter, uh, it's not actually stupid. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 a it's a hell of a fireball, right? Getting two, getting yeah. two balls, the ball, the edge four guy, and the strength ball, four guy. Both like ball carriers a... and the strength uh, carrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, as far as uh, fireballs go, that's the one that he wants to that that he wants to pull the trigger on. Um, but uh, he he sees that the fireball is his main way of winning this game in uh, regular time. Um, and doesn't want to go for it right now, um, which I think is very fair. Problem is, see, Rolls, will he get a better chance in the second half? Right? Maybe not. Like this is his best chance, starting with the most amount of players with the least amount of time for Cruz to score, and the more more chances of Cruz overextending, and he hasn't made this guy a scoring threat. This is the one that I expect to be the scoring threat, right? Because he's. Uh, he was free. He could just gone in the other post and half. He's got he, he's got an edge five leaper that could recover it. So this one doesn't be, want to be the scoring threat. So this is great for Cruz if he if if uh, Chunter removes all counter score threat. Yeah, because then Cruz is free rolling right for the for the draw. Yeah. So what? You need to kill the daddy. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Duffy, exactly. And uh yeah, you know, like you know, if you bolt eighty three percent of the time, it's good. Uh if you fireball fifty percent of the time, it's good, but has the percent ch chance to be amazing, right? Getting multiple down. Um so it was interesting, it was worth thinking about. I think I think what he again thought was that the the amount of chorps in between uh, the ball and uh, his rats uh, that can recover, um, and and then his uh, his two vermin being based up uh, meant that it was not um, good enough. Hmm. And obviously, if you use it, then he doesn't. Have it, was too it, it, it was too much. risky. It was too risky. Oh, roll yeah, the one. Yeah. Has to reroll, so instant reroll here. Does get away and uh, opens up the uh, Roger Blitz, and it's another wild animal. Holy fuck! This Roger has been shit. Uh, not what you want to see if you're if you're Chunter. Very much what you want to see if you're Cruz. <laughs> mm. This is interesting. You can go through go through here, Cruz now. So like that might be better than going down the sideline. Very terrible for Chunter uh, that turn. Um, mm. The crucial turn seven. Yeah. 
Because what he probably wants to hit, like obviously you'd like to hit him with claw, but you can hit him there and get him out of the way. Then you can hit this guy. So yeah, like obviously it's it's worse, right? Not hitting him with claw, but this is by far the best direction to push him. So like yeah. he had to do yeah, yeah, what he didn't yeah, want yeah. to do, really. Um, but yeah, that's really good. That gets him out of the way, and then he it's, can get. It's about this guy. scoring more than attrition right now. Yes, right? yeah, hundred percent, oh. yeah, hundred percent, all in on the score now. And now this is huge, right? Because now there's no counter score threat from Chanta. So mm -hmm. it's balls to the walls. Anything you can do to get this tutty here. Maybe you uh, claw pom this gutter. Like it sucks if you don't power him. But if you power him, then that gives you the 2D on this guy and then free reign to go through here. But then on the other hand, this yeah. is where you guys can get furthest forward, right? The claw pommer can get the furthest forward. So it's interesting. Yeah, so this is good. If you get now, he gets the power. He can bring this guy forward. Yeah, yeah, I lo I really like this. He can go here. This claw guy can go here, and I believe he will because he's got the guard to uh, assist. Yeah, exactly, and he doesn't pile this on because he wants to tie up the roger. Uh, yes. Very, very well done. Good, good restraint. Uh, even though he gets the natural armor break, <laughs> <laughs> got to have to get just smashed by a roger. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I asked to, right? Uh, you could I even GFI. No, he can't. Down. Down. Yeah, so go I ahead, do like... him, and then maybe he could blitz one, two, three, four. He could blitz. He could blitz that gutter. That'd be pretty nice. Hitting this guy would be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I because I do kind of like uh, this uh, punching the uh, the vermin uh, opens up the entire uh, middle of the field uh, for him. Um, so if he if he goes in with the the chorf blocker that he just freed up to put in the assist, mm. this this um, guy could as well. This guy could come all the way around. Look, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's greedier, but then it give, it does give you something because this one can go out, can't he? That's the thing. This this guy oh, could go sure out. Feet. Ooh, sure oh, sure feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he could just cage around him here. He could just cage. He could just put the ball here, and then it's in range. Is it double GFI then? Yeah. Yeah. Or he might do the, a naked GFI. But then that adds GFIs to everything else as well, so I think he'll just stay here. Yeah. I would like him one further forward. I, I do that too, but uh, this way uh, he doesn't uh, close the door for himself. Um, wait a minute, no! <gasps> oh no, what an awful... Oh, well, maybe not awful, right? Because now he gets a 3D, but, so we don't know if that was on purpose or not. <laughs> <laughs> jump yeah. up hit. Oh, I mean, gets the jump up. That's a massive three plus. <laughs> it was a blitz. It was a blitz. It wasn't a massive three plus. Uh, yeah, 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 all right, yeah, yeah. Because he recognizes that uh, he needs to get that. Uh, yeah, yeah. But it's no arm break. <gasps> oh, no. Why the there's the reroll? Oh. oh. So now you just got to get the ball here. You just have to move this ball next. Oh, he's going to hand off to him. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, because he recognizes that Chunter doesn't want to burn the whiz uh, to just potentially maybe stop the score. Um, very fair. Oh, no, he doesn't hand off. Oh. Okay. Well, Interesting. Interesting. But he's in range anyway. He's yeah. in range behind him. I don't very, think it's Wizbe very... at all. <laughs> like that's the thing, that's why I would have handed up I, I, you could you could have handed off to him because he knows he can't be whizzed, right? But I guess this yeah. is pretty decent that um Yeah, it's funny that it's just not a case, but it does get him one forward, good, right? Room. That's that's the good thing about it not and, being a and, cage. Uh, it, it, it's it, in this eye cage he can't still be like properly blitzed right because it, there's guard on uh, both on either side um so it, it's actually like fairly well protected um because it's always going to be an uphill and uphill is bad yeah 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just meant he could uh, have so yeah, done because is... he can't be wizards, right? Like, I'm not saying that it was the best idea, but it was an option because he couldn't be wizards. And this, but this is good. Getting an extra square forward is pretty good, right? Yep. Also, just quietly, uh, both Ningled Gutters have now survived <laughs> without <laughs> even getting armor broken from yeah. the claw power piling them on. Uh, I think rather than uphilling, the reason to not uphill with a sacker is just to 4 plus dodge with a roger, right? I think that's the better play. Oh no, he's got a guard back there as well. Oh, he's got the guard back yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. He's got two guards. So you'd have it's to dodge him out. Nice position. You'd have to dodge him out and put him here, and then he could 2D. Yeah, because this frees up the guard. Uh, does get it on the second bucker dog. No armor <laughs> break though, so. So he could 1D him with like a lineman. <laughs> Does uh, he have Dauntless? Anyway? He can, he can, yeah, the, yeah, the Dauntless, um, uh, both the, uh, the Shadowing Guiders have Dauntless. Yeah, so, no, the rest of them doesn't, but the other one does. Um, you can dodge with this, with this Storm Vermin, can't you, for 2D? 1, 2, 3, 4. He could. Um, I don't hate that. <clears throat> Oh no, it's not, he's edge two. It'll be a four plus. I remembered that, he's edge two. So here we go. A one Oh yeah, yeah, that yeah, then he definitely can't. Oh no. Oh Cass is in Holy crap, that's <laughs> game losing. It kind of is, and also he gets to yeah. this guy forward I, now. <laughs> yeah, because like I, I, th that's why I don't like the reroll on that. Yeah. Because the, the fail state, like the oh, re 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 rolling no, I won't so give bad. in until <laughs> I'm victorious. Yeah, I do. And I will defend. <laughs> this I will defend. Player, right? Oh, thank you very much, Moomin Slayer. So the play here is this guy to run all the way around, blitz him, isn't it? And then it's 3D and then can chain him forward. That's, that's the play. Gotta, gotta do this. One, two, three, four, five. Because the push back isn't even game winning, right? So, like, it's so... Misplay. Misplay from Cruz. I'm calling it now misplay from Cruz. It, it's, it's so he can get this <laughs> claw palm hit, right? He can, he, I mean, you just get the three dice claw palm this guy, which is amazing. Um, yeah. And I guess it's only one in 36 for not score, but still. Yeah. <laughs> for a second, I was imagining that he pre-rolled that. <laughs> <laughs> from the noise and I was like what the fuck just happened <laughs> oh, there's no oh, fuck you when you bang away from Gdynik he, he escapes that criticism <laughs> does Cruz <laughs> but, um, yeah I think I mean that it's it's interesting right a claw pom hit well a pom a tackle pom a three dice tackle pom hit on that gutter is amazing with a wizard in play but it's really 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 tempting hit to make and it is only one in thirty-six to fail a GFI, so it's probably a lot I, closer. I, with, with yeah, and with the cast that he just got, I think the the equity shift in removing another gutter is so huge that I I don't hate this line. Glorious. Uh, no, I won't give in until I'm victorious. Reduce and I will defend. Reduce I will defend. Yeah, yeah. If you can get, if you can get the edge five. Just never percent. <laughs> like that edge five. Yeah, that edge five is huge. If you remove him, it, it's yeah. it's, it's yeah. almost GG. And uh, thank you very much, yeah. Daily Fifty Six. Absolutely glorious. Welcome, to Team Fantastic. Oh yeah. yeah. Stupid ad. Yeah, I, I need to run to the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we can't. Uh, no, well, it's all right. Uh, you know, they're taking ages to settle. Back in a second. CBA with ads. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, that is the Twitch strategy, isn't it? Is 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 uh, <laughs> is to what's it called? Oh, I can't remember what it was called. Like incentivize the streamers to run loads of ads, <laughs> which then incentivizes people to sub. <laughs> and then that also incentivizes people to pay more for ads for the thing, right? Because there's more ads being shown. So it was all, it was, you know, very, very good business from Twitch. But then, you know, okay. the, the streamers don't really have much of a choice to it, right? Because, well, they do now. I guess the ad incentive isn't, isn't as good as it was.
Running the hell away. Yep, I mean, lots of people would dog to the dog. Uh, what's he called? Uh, the, the greatest ever Muldripster, in some people's opinion, would almost certainly run away. Um, but... More rerolls, more good. Yep, yeah, I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure Chunt won't run away. <laughs> no, especially not with my three rolls in the wizard. Oh, this is good luck. Cruise being sensible. Maybe overly sensible. I do like. I would. I would. <laughs> I would think about not piling on here and uh, you know holding, trying hold up further up field. Like there's something to be said for holding further up field rather yeah. than voluntarily splitting your team. Yeah. But yeah. the pylon gets the result, so who's to say it was wrong? Mm. Well, I mean, I wouldn't want to pylon with four. That's the thing. If I pylon with one, I'm piling on with a jump up guy. Yeah, that's fair. Don't I mean, he doesn't have to pylon with both, because... Well, well, the, well <laughs> no, but the point is, you, 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 you have to... If, if you're going to pile on, if you only want to pile on with one, it has to be with a jump up one. That, that's the point, right? Yeah, yeah. Because he's just better at piling on. <laughs> but uh, Banger's gonna bang and pile on with both. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is inviting tons Against of the pressure. Result for it. This invites just tons of pressure right now. It does. And tons of pressure is really the only chance Chunts has got, so I'm not sure how good and, these and pile ones the are. main way that Chunts knows how to play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. You're playing in to the strengths of the coach as well as the strengths of the matchup in the team. Yeah. But like this bull, I think, you know, if this bull was up here holding space, and this bull was up here, and then these two haven't piled on, then all of a sudden it's so much harder for Chunts to get through. Whereas now, you can blitz any of these four, and then swarm through, and threaten the wizard, and yeah. a sack next turn. Yeah, I mean they're still in this razzle. It's it's harder. They've lost they've lost a gutter and uh, they've lost a lot of players total. Um, <laughs> it just just seven, uh, two players. two more on the LOS. So yeah. <laughs> yep. I mean, I think. Oh yeah, Chandra can't follow for sure. No, I think he rolls the blitzers and gets everything through and sees what happens next turn. I think that's probably the play. I think that's the best play as well. Um, I don't even hate going rogue first, even though it's shit uh, and exposes is all your good players. Um, because you, you desperately want to see what happens and which well, yeah, players he, he, you can move where. He opens the space, right? He opens the channels for people yeah. to move through, so you kind of have to do the rogue first. <laughs> you, you can uh, put the guard... Uh, on the jump up, but that's also like not what you want to do. <laughs> that's too vermin, right? Um, but it's, it's it's the all my sort of safety that you have. Now this blocks it. Okay, no, it blocks it. Up in there. Mm. Oh, with the armor break Ooh, and the cast. Hello, oh, Roger finally doing something. Oh, and it's. Move um, boss, that is a massive one. But the the worst chorf, but still it's still a decent chorf. Yeah, and and chorfs being down chorfs is so bad. Yep. Like it makes everything so awkward. Um, so yeah, that is a massive blow to uh, to Chris's uh, chalice equity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, <laughs> you'd think that, Ollie. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for, for everyone that is in Chalice, you want the winning team to lose as many players as possible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But you're getting a little ahead of yourself if you're Nolly. 
Banter. <laughs> 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 Five rounds of sauce and chalice ahead of yourselves. <laughs> Not a little bit. <laughs> yeah, everybody who has, you know, hopes of winning is uh, is hoping the night. Every night he dies for sure. Yeah. I might get a buy my first round. Yeah. So by the way. Yeah. Uh, your opponent Ridiculous. is fighting bears or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, no. Friday, maybe. Is he dead? Is he dead? He's not dead. Alright, so there's that. Oh my god, that's super lucky from Chris, isn't it? Super lucky. Now he mm. picks up both claw bombers, gets everyone back together. Flip me. Get even gets the claw pom. Yeah. Uh, no, he doesn't get the claw pom. Three pom the natty. Oh, GFI, GFI claw pom the natty. Yeah, you could GFI. Yeah, and yeah. like he could even take the first hit. hit uh, so that it's not a GFI, right? Oh, he could. Um, yeah, there's no sidestep. Yeah. Yeah, he could do. <laughs> no, he's, uh, he's apparently uh, trekking in the wilderness uh, alone on a motorcycle and uh, fighting bears. I'm, I'm assuming he's Russian from that. <laughs> but I don't know. Oh, this is glorious for, for uh, Cruz, isn't it? This, yeah. guy, this, this guy can come for the assist there. Amazing. So he's still got the strength four up. So yeah, he comes in for the assist, nice, he hits him, then you move this guy out, cage up here, and 3D, claw on the natty, old baby. That snake was absolutely fucking brutal. It was pretty brutal, yeah, because there was another, the edge 5 would have been like up here or something, and there would have been a bolt coming in. That being said, crew snake twice in the first half, so fair. Um, yeah. I haven't really stayed down either, right? Because he's just gonna foul you. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like. Oh, I don't like this. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, I guess he gets to hit him. I still don't like I don't like it as much as using him over here and then having the strength fall down here. Hmm. Oh, okay, he's blitzing with him. Okay, well, that's okay, yeah. I don't like that, but, I mean, no, if this he is okay. removes him, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, this is okay. Like, it's just, because you need, you you want the players to defend the ball anyway, so actually this is, uh, oh, and he gets the KO. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. Well, that, that's probably the best case scenario for <laughs> John <Dr. laughs> Yeah, the problem is getting somebody over here now, right? Because the strength four was the one who could get over there. And then he could have blitzed mm. from there mm. because if he if he desisted the block here because now he can't hit him like th th it was this guy yeah. this guy should have come over here then he yeah. can block then he can get out of the way and then this guy could have come over there so that's a bit of a but I think it's a bit of a mistake it does get him the two D on the roll there but like oh, he, he could try and dodge the bull centaur at the end maybe but then he's got the assists for it. Oh, now he can jump up and hit him, I guess, but very exposed to the Sag 5. <laughs> Flip me. Little bit. Little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can see ways to pass yeah. to the ball here. <laughs> I think this is a bit of a mistake. I mean, I guess you, you, do, you do occupy this guy and it does give you this hit, but I really, really like the system there, moving him out of the way and then getting him. Yeah, yeah but this so bolt, right. bolt win here for Chunt, maybe. Yeah, have to. You have to like move here. I don't think there's going to be enough. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, diced. You can still one well, D the ball. Well, Junter's last three turns have been absolutely flipping horrendous. <laughs> um, I'm I'm talking about. Well, not his actual last three. I meant the yeah, his last three. Turn seven, turn uh, nine, and turn. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Scold, scold into self cas <laughs> Double one. Oh, yeah, last four turns. Yeah, last four turns, because like the, the whole turn before that was just a bunch of pushes that 
led him to nowhere as well with the roger uh uh yeah it's been it's been it's been rough gets the pow here though all right all right i like that reroll this time though uh because like you're out of you're out of chances to be in the game uh after this yes. so so yeah this is his last chance at the ball so All right, it lands in uh, in a tackle zone uh, on tackle uh, with three roll gone, but um, the gutter is there to to go get it. Uh, question is what you do with the edge one because uh, you side, sort of have to decide that first, right? Move well, the you, edge. You, uh, you just you, the edge is going to do the first. pass. The edge is going to do the pass. You just got to run in the end zone here, GFI in the end zone, and then run around here. Double GFI, pick up in a tackle zone. Hope you run to A lot of dice without uh, without a reroll. It is. What what your alternate is just wait and lose next turn. <laughs> like there's nothing else. There's literally nothing else. I quite like the fifty fifty plan, Jim. Where that gutter runs deep but doesn't do GFIs, and then the agility comes in and throws it deep oh, to yeah, that gutter okay. or to buy it. No, because then he, you... just gets, he just gets hit by the. The one of the bulls with yeah, one of the bulls would tackle, but you've got another chance to collect it deep. Mm. It looks like he's going I, in with the one on the ground. Gets yeah, it. The safe, this is the safest play, uh, and I yeah. don't hate this. Um, I think it's not good enough, so it, I, I do hate. Yeah, it. yeah, I, I don't, I don't think it's good enough either. But it's, <laughs> it's also like. We it, have punt. It puts you in a position to still. It's the punt. That's what I wanted okay. to do. Yeah. But with the AG covering one of the bulls, so any of the other bull could mm -hmm. come easily, and then recover it next turn. I mean, so perhaps he is, is going to punt. The, the bull is covered, right? Isn't it? Okay, not the bulls on the roger. Well, that covers the other one. Yeah, you see, had he only got the agility one doing the pickup and the throw to that one, you could have got both bulls sort of in difficulty. But it's it's still quite nice, isn't it? There's only one bull can come, Wait, and then the hobgob to pick up. It doesn't accomplish much, but it would it would be nice, wouldn't it? I just never think of punting. I literally never ever think of punting. I, I hate punting at this stage, uh, so, so I'm happy it doesn't. Because <laughs> he still has to like it's just uh, what a uh, sixty-six percent chance to knock him down. No, right? it's three dice, isn't it? <sighs> no, four, strength three. four and strength two. It's three dice because he does this hit gets these. Where's the assist? He, he does this hit here, brings him down to here, 2Ds him, and then this guy gets Oh, yeah, 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 because now he's freed up there. Yeah, 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 my bad, my bad. Yep. So, but the problem yeah, is the right. ball afterwards, isn't it? Is where to go with the ball afterwards. And the problem yeah, is that that's why Crucifer doesn't miss much, percent. so, yeah, here we go. There's the first assist goes in into the even safer place, then the one on the Roger. Roger. And he's gone, giving it the three die on the ball. It's, I mean, I love watching both of these coaches. Crucifer is so methodical, misses nothing, so procedural, so incredibly strong and, and reliable, and Chunt is so creative. Shame to be a little bit late for this one. I, I'd see now what Crystal was talking to me about during the day. He said he had a surprise in store because. Crucifer had cut a hobgoblin to prevent it being glart and a whiz. So of course he went with Fez and the whiz, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Oof. That was fun. No oh, armor break. Yeah, so Chunter is still in this with the sliver sliver's tiniest of hopes. Slivers of equity. Where does the where does this guy go? Where does the bull go? Maybe here? I don't hate an eye cage on the other side of the downed rat. That's a cheer for Yeah, yeah, exactly. An yeah, eye cage on the other side you, of the rat. But you can't eye, you can't eye. Oh, what? So he goes here and then... Bull's no, there, he, yes, he, exactly. He just, he just uh, was, in, was mm. in the rat. Yeah, okay. I didn't think he had enough m movement, but he does, doesn't he? Yeah. But it, it's yeah. so difficult because the other gutter is coming. The one he's already put the dwarf on before he moved the roger. Mm. I mean, he's... It, so and that's it's another horrific rat of doom, isn't it? And if you put this over here and then roll a one on the dodge, then you're really yeah. screwed. Yeah. You're super screwed. So it's it's interesting. 
And even if you do move the ball over there, it, I mean, you're not screening away from yeah, that gutter. Think, yeah, think, that's the position no, I'd have gone I for. Think this, yeah, this, this is what I like the most as well. Uh, or hate the least. <laughs> yeah, hate the least, I think, is probably right, isn't it? That's the shape uh, I saw, so... Oh, I thought you meant an eye no, cage. It's three plus it's no, an eye cage on the downed uh, rat. Ah, uh, right, yeah. To yeah, try yeah, and stop yeah. that being effective, although it doesn't really. But it's three and, plus for jump through, it's horrendous. Two I mean, threes. He can just he can come with the plus, thrower plus. and then the agility up gutter and one die with strip and wrestle. Although the strip's no use, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, and, so I think you want to. I think you want to get the two. 2D, right? There was even so an argument plus, for a, yeah, plus, yeah, two D, this hundred percent, two D, hundred percent. But yeah, it was interesting because he could have fireballed right rather than bolting, and it's easy to say after yeah. the fizzles. But like, if he'd fireballed that turn, he would have he would have had more chance of getting some value when you think how easy it was to get the ball loose afterwards. But yeah, probably. Oh, you know, against the power, against the power, against the power. Gets the big old pound. Super interesting. And the scatter the ball is. The scatter is bad. Well, I mean, it's four, there's no one to Three plus, three plus, two plus dodges, a three plus pick up, and a two plus go for it. And I don't see any world in which Chunter doesn't try that. Yeah, 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 yeah that's true. I mean, it's, only three, it's only threes and twos at the end of the day. It's not, it's not getting better, right? No. <laughs> so I guess you do, like, oh, every turn is getting worse. One, two, three, four, five, One, two, three, four, five, no, five, five six, seven. No, so you just have to do the threes out, and twos. Yeah. Yeah. First three, yeah, mate. Now does he go here or not? Or does he go out there? But then that adds two cheer for us. No, he has, to, he has to go outside. Outside, definitely. No, straight onto the ball. No, he oh. goes outside. There you go. And he has the ball. <laughs> Flip me. It's all the dice. <laughs> two cheer for us. Oh! oh <laughs> is it a snake? Is it a snake? Is it a last thing? Oh, it's not. It was a two, oh. not a one on that final one. Oh my god. Uh, if, he'd, if he'd gone more down my direct route, he'd have made it without the reroll, but there we are. <laughs> yes, uh, probably so going out was uh, slightly this, this better. Advice. <laughs> yeah, three twos versus one three, I this... think, is probably slightly better. Yes, yes. Particularly as there was tackle preventing a built in reroll on the three. Exactly, exactly. That was pretty okay, dice for Chunter, yeah. But I mean, you know, yeah. Cruz has only got himself to blame. He got himself into a lot of problems, even without the wizard. From the piling on, yeah. It was, it was, you know, he just didn't have a complete cage. It was, it was that, it was yep. that stand firm guy that went to assist the hit on the roger. If he had assisted the hit on the on the on the blitzer, he would have had that cage complete. And, that, and, then and it, it, go, it goes to for, it goes so far back as to the line of scrimmage, right? When he took the two pylons, uh, um, they were still back in the in the center of the field, right? Uh, well, I was just pylons. settling into my seat, and far be it from me to have been continuously harping on about how piling on sometimes sacrifices position for marginal gains, <laughs> and is only best used when you're already finishing off a team you've already beaten. Um, but I think I have mentioned it, Jim. <laughs> Yeah, I, did, I didn't like piling on with both. I thought maybe pile on with a jump-up guy, right? Because you don't lose a lot by piling on with a jump-up guy. Um, but let's not pretend this is done. Cruz has got plenty of time to drive back. I mean, Have it's not done, but it's all done. Both his chaos back. Chelsea got both his <laughs> chaos back. It's so he literally... doesn't actually have to put any good players on their list this time. Either. Yeah, it's literally almost done, right? Because even if he scores, the Natty is still alive. So... Yeah, yeah, it's and he's really, not really getting to the natty because now there's too many routes in the field again. Yeah, it's yes, the natty system. will run away. Uh, if, I mean, I was going to say if Chanta's got any sense, but Chanta doesn't have any sense. But it will probably still run away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is a tackle back line. It's still just twos to get through, isn't it? It's it's yeah. going to be. Uh... It's, he's still he's a huge favourite now, Chandler. One 0 up with a natty. I mean, come on, <laughs> it's not over. But he's a huge, huge. Yes, favorite. what a what I think Cruiser would have been really hoping for is a triple deletion out of the th four hits on this turn. Mm. And so far, it's one push. There we go, though. Yep, dead. Dead, dead, one dead. and one. It was a kicker anyway. Fucking terrible.
dead, dead, dead. Ooh, Chunter Chunter does like off. a kick. Chunter's better off for it. He doesn't know it, but he's better off for he it. He likes a kick, and you know why. Also, he loves knowing where the ball's going. Clue, it's always that. deep, and he's always coming for it. No, it's, it's sometimes short, and he's coming for it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, two, that. two and two. Yeah. That's not Cause, terrible, is it? Because Russell just doubled down on his uh, choice of <laughs> <laughs> jugs instead of piling on. <laughs> kick is good for rats, um, Baron Bucky. It yeah, is. kick and, is good for rats because because line rats are shit. That, that's the thing, right? Yeah. I kind of hate I kind of hate kick on elves because elves are good. But I think yep. kick on Skaven and Vamps is good because thralls are shit and, and line rats are shit. <laughs> the faster the elves, the better the kick. So I would suggest kick is pretty good on pro. No, I still don't like it because I'd still just rather have a, a, a dodge, a dodger or a roger. You know, like putting them one. Yeah, just yeah. For yeah I mean, that's, it's that. a okay. very, it's a very good shout, Jim, and it's, it's certainly not wasted having either of those. My argument for a pro is it is the one elf where sometimes you just need the ball as far away as possible so that you can survive. And it's good at that. And sometimes you do need to be able to just attack it, and it's good for that. Whereas the other elves, particularly the high and dark, can you know can stand in a line and get hit. And wood elves are just so pacey and so aggressive. But pro, I think, can sometimes use a kick. I mean, the but issue right, with pro is so why many the others. hell are you using pro elves? <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, the, that, that, yeah. that's the flaw in that logic. There's no. But the, op <laughs> the opportunity cost of a wrestle or a dodge is much larger there than it is on, the, say, a line wrap or a yeah. human lineman. Yeah. And it's why randoms are so good in 2020 on your line pieces. Because mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, for 10TV, you can get use out of pretty much anything. Yeah, and kick, kick on Woody Catches is fine, yeah, because they're yeah, not it's getting fine. a lot of value out of anything on their block side stuff. Exactly. Then they, can, then they can take kick because it's yeah. not costing them things. Yeah, no, exactly. Not an early take, as Ollie says. A fourth or a third take on them is fine. And the uh, <laughs> <Natty's off>. <laughs> <laughs> Banter. <laughs> well, look, Chunter just, uh, sorry, uh, Crusoe just genuinely does like some pro, but yes, he contrasts that with some killer chorfs, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Daily. <laughs> well, this uh, these last two turns for Chunter has made up for the four horrendous turns in a row. Yeah, um, didn't, it? Mm, didn't it just? Pretty, pretty good. The Natty has run away far enough. I mean, that's that's pretty hard. Yeah. I guess he could pow this one, and then he could sidestep to... There's too one, much shit in the way square, to hit the Natty. Two, three, four, the, um, it's possible. It's possible. Yeah, it is possible. On a double GFI, you can claw but mighty hit. The strength force the dub. Depending he, on he the... He's down. got a sidestep to the wrong square, though, to allow you that. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. Yes. no he, can't, he can't hit him, because the strength force the dub now. He was not down. Oh, okay. So ah, he yes, so he, no, he can't, he can't get to. Which yeah. isn't surprising for Chunter to put it tantalizingly in reach where you can alter your yeah. entire line <laughs> to try and get towards it, but <laughs> yeah. it's not quite reachable. Yeah. <laughs> it is. provides an excuse for moving, moving it again next turn. Well, uh, I don't hate that piling on. At this point, removals are really important. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it means a gutter runner. Like that's the thing. He was yeah. piling on line rats, you know. Like that. Was, yeah, I hated, yeah. I hated uh, Chris's first turn, but I hated his the, the second turn. I think it was just a definite mistake with the uh, the the, the stand firm positioning on the second turn. I still think he could have salvaged it somewhat in the second turn, but I didn't. Yeah, the first Plus, turn I didn't. To, to get away with that piling on, look what he's got there. He's got a strength four to one side of it and a claw mighty guard to the other side of it. So the position is already strong. It's already held. Yeah. Yeah. But so often you're, you know, you, you are weakening your st your position to, to do it, and for marginal gains with claw, it's obviously it's it's great. The numbers really stack up. But on dwarven pieces, its movement and position control is so important. However, I'm not teaching Cruz how to suck eggs. He's pretty good with chores. Yeah, I just I just didn't like it. It's funny, isn't it? We can still agree, disagree on plays, even though yeah, yeah. one of us is better 99% uh, of the time. 
Yeah, exactly, dog to the dog. Yeah, you, you can't just say that the pylons were a mistake, whereas the, uh, you know, the, the stand firm, I'm sure, was a mistake. Like, you know, at least at least the pylons, you know, he, he could have been, he could have snowballed more, he could have got more removals, there was pros and cons. Whereas just <laughs> making a three-cornered cage <laughs> versus Skaven <laughs> with a wizard, <laughs> it's just definitely 100% yeah. wrong. Yeah, I, I, yeah. It didn't, it's it, so you optimistic. looked at the shape and you thought, that doesn't look right, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, bye-bye, Natty, bye. Yep. That's really See nice. you later. Yes, it was a colloquialism. I do apologise. When I say teach my grandmother to suck eggs, um, apparently every English person's grandmother used to suck eggs. It wasn't um, the yeah, implication uh... that they just sucked a lot of dick because they were old women? Like... No. no. I think it <laughs> was that the, it, it was, was a, a thing one did and learned how to do from childhood. And oh, therefore, really? by the time a grandmother was doing it, you know, she'd been doing it all her life. <laughs> I just meant she'd been... I, thought, I genuinely thought it just meant she'd been sucking dick all her life. <laughs> No, although, you know, my grandmother's generation did do a lot of that. They were lively during the war. And from what I hear, you know, oof, there were three or four years where everyone, you know, was up to that, wasn't they? <laughs> I just genuinely thought that's what it was. So your, your 95 year old great aunt Ada, yeah, she was putting out like crazy in her 20s in the war. <laughs> but no, teach your grandmother to suck eggs is a colloquialism for teach someone to do something they have a lot of experience already doing. Do you it, eat this one. It's like this teaching is, uh... your grandmother to suck dicks. <laughs> Which, I mean, your grandmother may, but mine, as I said, possibly, <laughs> possibly on one side, less so on the other. Already married during the war. Oh dear. That's a are. risky for that very reason. Uh, that was a very risky non reroll, but he was down to two, and there is a chance of Kekwadi, yeah, yeah, right? So he yeah. doesn't reroll, yeah. he gets yeah. cast out, and now, you know, if, if Cruz wasn't a touchdown behind, this would be looking amazing for him. But as it yeah. is, it's really not looking amazing because there is still the Natty, but, you know, he can still slaughter this with, team. With, and, uh, exactly, and, and, like, yeah, he does have. But Natty, but soon he doesn't have anyone to hand off to Natty with. Um, <laughs> True. Yes, True. and and the problem is, Jim, he's he's already he's lost the ability to slow this at all. Yeah. So this now isn't a drive; it's a procession. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. Um, which it's means Crystal now has to absolutely switch gear into, you know, I need to be ready for the Natty. And as you say, just preservation of the Natty and of oh, someone to give him the damn ball. They had no Have teeth, it. so they sucked egg yolks. Is that, is that the truth? Mm. And also dick. <laughs> uh. Exactly, Nolly, exactly. Like, that's the thing, right? So it's still a big favourite. Well, not a big favourite, but he's still got a good shot. Like, that's the thing. Being 1-0 down, right? If, he were, if it was even, this would still be looking pretty good for Cruz. But um, it's still not looking that good, as you know, with seven removals. And, yes, uh, a quick Wikipedia, so it can't be wrong, confirms that that apparently old people had bad teeth, and therefore the way they got protein was to put a pinhole in an egg and to suck the protein out. Mm. Uh, and therefore, it was a thing old people would be practiced at doing, like Jim's grandmother and sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> That does sound absolutely fucking rank, doesn't it? <laughs> I remember egg. taking my beloved, um, very elderly grandmother out in Florida, and her then, I think it was fourth husband, Johnny, and he'd been a farm worker all his life, and he had completely destroyed teeth. And at this restaurant, we ordered this sort of thing that was a pre chewed steak. Wow, dodge, a reroll. Oh, to hit this, a pre-chewed steak. Oh my god, yeah. please don't. No, don't do it. Don't. Right. Strike that from the VOD. <laughs> and my mind. Thank you that very much. That is the most disgusting thing that has been mentioned in this channel. Yeah, let's just drop it in now. This channel for As a concept, it's horrible, isn't it? it no, it, let's just it, drop was... it now, PC. I'm okay, not even sorry. joking. I'm not sorry. even joking. Drop it now. Okay. Seriously, that I feel ill. <laughs> You're two depressed persons that are <laughs> With, they can't deal with these kind of thoughts. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. As uh, Tapioca King says, let's go back to just talking about sucking dicks. Yeah, and Orimin Cruz. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, we can nice. deal with that. 
much more wholesome stuff. <laughs> Chris deserves a good yeah. ribbing, for, honestly, for that. He was so lax with the, the... Well, it was the big mistake, right? Like, I, di I didn't like... Well, none of us apparently liked the pylons, but, but that stand firm was the big mistake. Like, I'm sure that was a mistake. Yeah. Doing that. Oh, look at that. Chunts running a long way to get the uh, Natty out of the way. It's Where all the matters, Jim. The, the game has changed, doesn't it? Like I said, there's no attempt to stop the drive. It's all about keep the natty alive and keep enough alive to feed it. Yeah. Yep. You blitz the uh, the wrestler here. Do you blitz... No, you have to blitz the ball, right? With the yeah, order. blitz the ball because then that gets your uh, what's it called, storm vermin out a good chance, isn't it, to get round? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that said, of course, Crystal does have a backup plan, uh, which is to win the overtime toss and use the natty then which is why he's trying to keep two re-rolls safe yep yeah he's got two chances he's got two chances of the natty it's ridiculous well one and a half but yeah 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 yeah, yeah. well he's yeah. got two chances he's, he's got one chance guaranteed and then 50% yep. he's got two chances yep. yeah so still a strong favourite here because it's a you know not hard to see that natty getting done is it but then he is running out of players. As long as he so... has someone to hand it off with. Yeah, right? I wouldn't say he's a big favourite. He is running out of players. Um... And he does need enough for the line, doesn't he? So ah. <laughs> He's fierce running out of players. <laughs> he's and got one KO enough... to maybe return. Yeah, this is this is a massive knockdown. Uh, yeah. Um, freeing up the uh, the uh, gutter runner to, to, well, potentially even be protected, right? Yeah. Um, that's the dream scenario. Yeah, if you can get him down to so many, so few players, what he can do is he can have just nine across the LOS, right? And then, then that yeah. makes it impossible. If he's got three players, it's literally impossible. Um, if it's got four players, then he's got a shot. Yeah, so that's the exact... No, one forward is where I put him. Uh, he can't reroll it. He is! No. Wow. Wow. That's the... That is a risky reroll. Um, I felt that I equity see, shift. I do see it. I do see it because uh, he's still got the ball to just blitz the, the uh, gutter yeah. and even though there's no well, money. No, he mighty blow hits down. it on, no, on two GFIs for three dice. No, he's, gonna, he's just going to three dice him with the ball. Yeah, exactly. So, so like, um, even though there's no mighty blow and no piling on, like, it's just AV7 versus... I've got yeah, three rerolls, Jim. If it's me, I'm, I'm, my, I'm putting two of them into hitting it with Mighty Blow Dwarf. Yeah, maybe. The bulk oh, of yeah, the second then it's three dice. Then it's three dice as well. It's three dice with Mighty oh, Blow. Oh, yeah, okay. For two GFIs, when I've got three rerolls in the bank, and it probably wins me the game if I kill yeah. it. And it's one GFI to hit with a, with a bull anyway. I'm not, I know he's yeah. got sure it, feet, it, but which... still. So you can put put the bull in there, oh, and then yeah, this yeah, this guy yeah, can go yeah, for GFI, yeah. GFI. Yeah, it probably is worth it, actually. And as we all know, two pluses are effectively free movement. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a spot PC to, to spot the GFI player. <laughs> 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 a dwarf GFIing, you see? Yeah, I, I, I didn't think he'd go for it, but... No, no I, it's not I, doing I, it. On uh, I think this is good enough. Uh, no, it's definitely yeah, it turns uh, out yeah, it was it good is. enough. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, um, I uh, think we can safely say GG now. That, uh, that will do. Yep. Cruise one, and I. This is why he had to reroll the uh, the dodge out. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So yeah. All those people right. saying stupid reroll. It was definitely a correct reroll, and uh, he had the yep. he had the DP foul as well, right, with an assist to follow it. So that yep. that that does reduce the value of the mighty blow uh, hit. So interesting, but yeah, good shot. Yep. Good shot with three rerolls. It probably was correct to uh, to double G if I blitz. I and I think. I think this was good enough with the with the fact that he had the DP. Um, I I like this. Like, well, I'd, I'd have done it. I know the first one, you know, it still had to be one with the sure feet on the bull. So it was only a small, slightly smaller risk. Um, I liked it. I'd have done it. I probably wouldn't have got the kill because life's not fair. <laughs> yeah. Two, there is more chance of just getting the knockdown, right? Doing it Chris's way. Because, yeah, like, yeah. burning the rerolls doesn't really matter because the only way you lose this is by the one turns, right? Which your rerolls yeah. don't matter at all. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, there's still wow. <laughs> that was
was the oh, very, very, very <laughs> slim remaining <laughs> car. Just just <laughs> wow. Well, this is how you beat rats anyway, isn't it? Yeah. Let's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just keep hitting them until there aren't any left. <laughs> hmm. Hopefully, Chunna wins the toss and the rogue has got. I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this is how to beat rats. Just simply, simply remove all of the rats. <laughs> yeah. Yep. When there are no rats, they will not win. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. I just call gutter runners rats, honestly. It's funny because I know the whole team is Skaven and rats, but I just call gutter runners rats. I call them all the time and I'm like saying, oh, there's two rats over there. And I'm only thinking about gutters and there are no real rats left. It's just these. So, yeah, Crucifer hasn't uh, hasn't got through this without a scratch, has he? There's mm -hmm. um... no, he, he lost the move bust. Uh, uh, yeah, that will not be available next game, and uh, a hobgoblin with wrestle won't be available either. Mm -hmm. um, you know, not massive drops, but enough that it's. Irks. I mean, the the uh, the turf is a massive drop. Any turf gone is a massive drop. Yes, it is. Oh no, he lost a single chove. And, well, it, it, he lost, you know, it's still a chove, and it's still, I mean, it's still a hobgoblin. Mini yes, it sounds ridiculous, because Chandra lost his entire fucking team. But... <laughs> one less guard, it's one less mighty blow. And, you know, who knows how much money he's got in the bank, right? Like, he, he was 2,200 TV, yeah. so he's getting loads of spiraling expenses, isn't he? And then, uh, I mean, I don't know how much money he has in the bank, but... It, you know, you want you want reserve. I'm 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 sure Razzle's got claw, hasn't he? So um, oh, it's juggernaut though. It's an idiotic juggernaut instead of a god tier. <laughs> on, but, uh... Which he doubled up on. <laughs> <laughs> He's happy with that choice too. He's very happy. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, the claw mighty did get a level for piling on. That's correct. Yeah, spoilers, but you know, <laughs> spoilers. Rat, nat, uh, rats with a natty managed to beat ogres. <laughs> Shocking! What an outcome! No, yeah. no way. I suspect some admin interference there. <laughs> it's taken frenzy. No, 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 no. So Crucifer just has these eleven at the moment and whatever bank he's got so if we start seeing some damage to these hobgobs that could start to affect the next game yeah it could see some loners on the pitch that's his primary ball carrier taking no his secondary ball carrier no, secondary. taking hits then <laughs> very good hancock <laughs> use wrestle don't use wrestle don't use wrestle why not <laughs> just, to, just to have a hobgoblin and die. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you might see bros. It just depends whether 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 Hancock throws or not, <laughs> and whether and whether the uh, and whether uh, the flings win. Right, the flings might have a chance. I can't remember. Yeah, the, what the, fling, the flings. Uh, they're, they're playing against the uh, Norse, so it's not a good chance, but. It's uh, they could high roll them. Um, yeah. it's the game seven. hasn't been played yet, therefore they have a chance. And, and yeah. Dora, and Dora's really fucking good with things. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. More, more times the than all have got of winning any game ever. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. I mean, uh, out of out of the stunties, they had the by far best chance. They have the best matchup and the best uh, the best going in equity. Um, their flings versus ogres and, and goblins. They're just infinitely superior to both of them. Yeah, they're the best race. They've they've, they've got they and they've had the best coaching matchup as well, right? Like uh, I don't know who Dara's playing, but like his record with Farflings is amazing. He's really good with them. Whereas like yeah. Rick got Rick got Hancock uh, with a monster team, and uh, Seabro's got Razzle with a monster team. So like, yeah. you know, it's they they got all the best. And Razzle's Razzle's uh, rat, rat specialist as well, right? So yeah. so it's like that, that is a terrible matchup. No matter if Seabro's <laughs> is great. With all if you his. watch the game, oh. if you watch the game, you might disagree with that assessment. <laughs> 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 but trust me. <laughs> 
<laughs> On paper, it looked pretty bad for Seabrooks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, the game, game is over now, right? But we got a great game here. Um, yeah. I'm. Uh, this it's, was it's, very, very exciting. A good it's watch. not over. <laughs> I mean, it lived up to to the hype of being a great. Uh, great it's match. not over. <laughs> it is very much fucking over. There's two rats wide. If there's a blitz, they could do something. It's not over yet. <laughs> if, if one of them had been a gutter, yes. But there are no gutter owners, so no. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Seabrooks. Bit, bit rowdy. <laughs> Why do you mean so fucking obsessed with rats that you're about to go on a holiday and you, and like you can't even fucking qualify with the team? Uh, you just decide to play more fucking rats. What the fuck? Why the fuck would anyone play that? Uh, but this is as close to over without it being over as I've pretty much ever seen it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is this is pretty. Um... Pretty over. I've always liked the expression, it may not be over, but you can see over from there. Um, this is nearer than that, you can touch over from here. Yeah. I'll have to uh, find out more about yeah, these Yeah, Daily, that, that would actually... Yeah, no, you're right. That could happen. 11 out of 11 dwarfs down on pitch innovation could happen. And then it's not... Yeah, even innovation. then. <laughs> they've, they've got two bulls and there's no cutters. It's... <laughs> I'm still not sure I'd back the rats. It oh, still has to be a pitch invasion. Oh, only two, not oh, eleven. Oh god, no. eleven would have been interesting. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Christopher had the plus one on that. So <laughs> I had a pitch invasion with a plus one, and like five of mine went down, and not of the yeah, opponents. I've, you know, I've had that happen too. It's. Uh, being an infuriating <laughs> as much of Blood Bowl is. <laughs> mm. <Yep>. mm. <coughs> wow. one. But but with, with like I had the plus one, that was the thing, right? Like uh, normally it's the person has the advantage when they get the, the huge swingy ones, but <laughs> like I was I actually had the plus. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, exactly. Being on advantage and still losing out big is just fucking depressing. Yeah. Yeah, I've had ones where I've like plus two and like knocked over like nine people and stuff. Yeah. But yeah. they're they're not yeah. that crazy. I mean, they are pretty crazy, but they're not that crazy, are they? Yeah. <laughs> oh look, another rat injury. I mean, mm. you're, at that point, you're expecting it. <laughs> you're, angry, you're angry if you don't get nine out. <laughs> if you to plus two. <laughs> um, and thanks, Nolly. It's because I, it's because I copied off uh, Hellboy. <laughs> Hellboy uh, at the UKTC. Hellboy. Hellboy introduced me to his Elliot impression, and I was like, "Oh my god, that's the best thing I've ever heard." <laughs> he, he told me how he did it, and then I tried to copy it a bit. A pigeon, yeah, I've had a pigeon version where not anyone got knocked over as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Well, there's not much. There's not much to talk about now, is there? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to find content for you, Jim, and there just isn't any. No. Chapter Trust is best to attrition. Uh, the one thing that he can. Um, good job. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for f right. Sorry, Dimmy. No. Yeah, that's a ban. <laughs> oh no, I can't. I can't ban from my from my bot. <laughs> I'll have to make you admin right. again if I ban you. Fuck's sake. All right, you're only not ban Dimmy because I'd have to make you an admin again. I can't be asked, but uh, just ban yourself, okay? <laughs> <laughs> ban yourself from ever saying something like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck off, Dimmy. <laughs> Laziness <laughs> always wins. <laughs> oh, wow. There we go. Yeah, is there anyone you can. You you're, can like the, uh, you're like the Gazer of Blood Bowl, Dimmy, just without the talent. <laughs> no, really. Uh, the, one no. That, the one that was close to level is the one that got him. Uh, got Mubus. <laughs> Another Gaz! I'm 30 of 31. <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe this guy might have got a 42. Like, it's not great, but it puts him in he's, MVP. He's plus. getting quite a lot of SPP oh, the on the chorfs. The bull. Bull goes to 69. And then an MVP is, is away or touchdowns is away. So, yeah, actually, bull. Over the course yeah, of the uh, tournament, yeah. the Aggie Bull could get like three touchdowns. Oh, oh look, Crystal dodged his little thrower in for an uphill. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of cute. <laughs> he did. He needed. He needed a six, followed by a double six, and <laughs> he rolled a double one. <laughs> well, he, he has been diced. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't it. <laughs> a little bit. Yes. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, he has been a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Bad. This wasn't it. <laughs> but earlier had, in the game. He had, he had the worst team, but with a good shot, right? Like, a really good shot. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and he had, like, lots of chances if Chris made mistakes, and Chris did make a mistake. And then, you know, that gave away the score. Um, but ultimately, yeah. it's just... Uh, he just got, he just got two yeah, I don't. Killed, I, didn't I think it's this advanced dwarf, yeah. Get it with an MVP I range. I don't think I've ever seen... Chandra's yeah. rats die at this rate before, so that's pretty interesting. <laughs> no, I haven't, which is surprising given away how many hits he gives away in every match. <laughs> yes, yeah. I, I have had one game against him where I managed to just delete his entire rat team and made him very sad. But mostly you don't, because you're so busy solving the problems he's caused you that you haven't yeah. got time to really pick on them. And I mean, this, this time he didn't even give away that many hits. It was just... Uh, it, it, Bruce was pretty efficient and Chant was pretty efficient at removing himself. I think he had three self removals over the game. Um, and once the AV7 snowball gets going, yeah! plus Chanter knows of course he can take the high risks because the team's dead. Yeah. So if there's a move you can do it first, even if it throws the rest of the team under the bus. Yeah. And we've done a couple of those and then on that turn, you know, Cruz will get to delete three rats. Yeah. Yeah, Cruz Cruz definitely got, had a lot of luck, right? There were there were some crucial ones, crucial snakes and from Chunter and uh, yeah, ultimately just really lucky with the hits. The hits that he got on the on the rats were devastating, weren't they? Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, the first time he laid eyes on the one, the, the natty kills it. Yeah, but a second uh, time wasn't it? Second time he hit the natty. Okay, but, but yeah, things like that. You know, little just little nice things going his way. Thirty breaks. Thirty AV breaks. <laughs> Forty, 40 blocks. But there was there was a third half with yeah, a yeah, number yeah, of yeah. inconsequential blocks. Um, yeah. and also inconsequential armor breaks but yeah and then again the piling on inflates that right but um, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a good dimmy coefficient there 30 AV breaks wins a match against 10 AV breaks <laughs> yeah but 9 cars yeah surprisingly enough the guy who the guy who took, took 10 cars lost <laughs> shocking <laughs> absolutely shocking oh, oh. result but um, yeah one on the bolt <laughs> yeah and yeah, yeah, you know who yeah. knows? Who knows? It was... I mean, Chris, Chris had a couple of snakes in the first half. It wasn't like, uh, but he got him out of the way early, and then uh, yeah. I mean, it was it was always going to come down to this, right? Chris's team was better. Yeah. It had the more inevitability. It was like it was just better in every regard. The longer the match goes on, it's just the better it gets, and everything like that. And it's just that Chunter was always going to have you know dice to roll that could do things. And as it happened, yeah. he, he he did get some of it. Like that's the funny thing, right? He did get the turnover and that. It was just that ultimately the the attrition on the good runners was just too much. Mm. And. Um, Yep, there you go. Oh, wow, the Shawnee coefficient. Yeah, the one who scored more touchdowns won. Yep. Um, but, but, right. You see, you can't have a coefficient when that is the result, Shawnee. So. <laughs> but anyway, uh, commiserations to Chunter. Uh, great, great, really great try. And congratulations on Cruz. Great escape, really. Great escape from yeah. him because that was he was so close to, to losing. He was so out. He was so out for two turns there. Yeah, but you know he hung in there. That's the great thing about Cruz, yeah. isn't it? His mental strength, like you know, he pounds those games every season to qualify in that, and he, he never gives up in the midst of a match as well. So yeah, incredible yeah. testicular fortitude by Chunter. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. He's just he's an incredibly solid, reliable, metronomic coach. Still has, I mean, does have good ideas, does see the smart plays, but just so efficient. Um, yeah. Really, really, really cool. impressive coaching. Yeah, but you know, Crystal, I, I love to watch game. play. It was a great game. Always fun. Yep, so there Thank you go. Both. Thank you very much, Diddle and PC. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.